These aren't the movie figures. This is from the Legacy line. Who could have? Damien! Hey guys, this is Chris, and this week I'll be reviewing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie figures. Now these figures have been very anticipated ever since it was announced a couple of months ago. And uh, I knew back then that oh, I'll probably be getting these figures like in a year or two when it arrives here in the Philippines. But thankfully enough, these things popped up in our local stores just a couple of weeks after it was released in the States, both Wave 1 and Wave 2. So as you can see, these figures are based off the movie suits which have more armor in them. These things were released in two waves. The first wave was the Red Ranger, Black Ranger, and the Pink Ranger, as well as Ivan Ooze. Wave 2, the White Ranger, Blue Ranger, and Yellow Ranger. Now in each wave, there's always one figure that has one weapon, a figure that has detachable heads, and a figure that has extra weapons. I don't know if that was just coincidence or it was really planned, but yeah. The two figures that only have one weapon are the White Ranger and the Black Ranger. White Ranger has Saba, the Black Ranger has his blaster. The two figures that have detachable heads are the Red Ranger and the Yellow Ranger. Now these are very canon in the movie where we see that these two Rangers actually uh, use two different helmets. And the two figures that have extra weapons are the Blue Ranger and the Pink Ranger. Ivan Ooze, on the other hand has a uh, extra hand. I remember I woke up early in the morning and dragged my father out of bed just to be first in line to watch the first screening of the movie when it was released here in the Philippines. Now these figures are really beautiful. You can see in the paint app, in the articulation, in how poseable these things are that as a kid, I bet you would have so much fun playing these toys. And as an adult, You'll also have fun posing these things a lot of different ways, especially with these weapons. And the weapons are actually color-coordinated, unlike the regular figures that were released back then where the weapons were just paint gray. These figures are now available everywhere, I guess, both in the U.S. and here in the Philippines. So if you're a fan of the movie, you will love these figures. If you like this video, please subscribe and check out my other videos. If you guys have any suggestions for what things I should be reviewing next or what type of comedy skit I should be doing next, please leave it at the comments and I'll be sure to take a look at them. Take care and see ya.